वेलकम बैक टू फ्रंट एंड टूट एंड टू द सीरीज ऑफ फ्रंट एंड प्रोजेक्ट दिस वीडियो विल बी अबाउट हाउ कैन बी मेक अ इंक्रीमेंट काउंटर द काउंटर दैट वी यूज रिश सी ऑन वेबसाइट्स फ्रॉम द ऑन द एजेंसी वेबसाइट्स ऑन द डॉक्टर पर्सनल पोर्टफोलियो वेबसाइट्स एंड एक्सेट्रा You can get the link to CDN in the description, or you can just Google "font awesome CDN" and you will easily find it. The first link and copy the latest version and paste it into the href tag. Data target is the number that we want to be shown on the website to be incrementing. For example, you can add to one million or two hundred k or three thousand, etc. These were the simple three HTML lines that you can copy and paste one after another. In this video, we are using three containers: one for YouTube, one for Twitter, and last for Facebook. So we can just copy them and paste it one after another, and change the names and data type, and also icons. Remember, you will not see the data type until you add JavaScript and connect incrementing function to the HTML file. we are using for each method so that because we are using three counter elements three counter classes one for youtube facebook and twitter so that all of these three classes can be targeted this is for the reason why we are using for each We are dividing target by 200 so that time will be balanced. For example, if we would have added 2000 instead of 200, it would have taken much more time to reach the target or data target that we set in HTML.
so this was javascript part now we can move to style.css to make some changes in the style and now you can see that the data target is visible on the file because we added javascript so let's move by styling our design Since some of the text and the numbers are going out of the frame of lower screen of YouTube and Facebook icon, we can make the changes by making this design responsive using media query. If you want to check how to make responsive design, don't forget to click on the i button. There's a video how to make a navigation bar responsive, only CSS, so go check it out. The incrementer didn't work because I made some silly mistakes, some spelling mistakes. So these are the few spelling mistakes. So keep in mind to recheck your JavaScript code before finally submitting or before finally trying to run it. Okay, so this was it 
hope you have learned to make an increment counter using JavaScript. This is a front-end project. It will help you get your CV better. And if you like this video, please comment and like this video. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel because more front-end projects are on the way. I am working on them. So we'll meet with a new and next front-end project. Till then, take care. Have a good day.